Um, welcome back to the channel. I'm trying to stay hydrated. So I'm gonna stick the bottle off to the side. Hey. All right, so today's video, I'm just gonna do a little bit of washing of the face. Um, I just did a video, I think you guys know, on City Beauty. And I was talking about the city lips. Well, today we're just gonna kind of talk a little bit about just the products in general. Um, since they were kind enough to send me um, pretty much the full line of their products to yeah, kind of test out, see what I thought. You guys know I am a skincare freak. I love, um, you know, kind of figuring out what skincare works for my skin. I know there are a lot of you guys out there with aging skin, just like mine. You know, we're having to deal with wrinkles, sagging skin, you know, dry lips, um, just a lot of stuff going on. So I thought I would give these guys a try because I've heard really, really good things about the product in general. So I've had an opportunity to test it out for a while and I kind of want to give you my thoughts and also just kind of highlight um, some of the products that to me, I think are definitely keepers. Stay tuned. We're gonna go ahead and since I've already showered and washed my face, I'm just gonna go ahead, you know what, I'll just wash my face again so I can show you guys the cleanser that I've been using with City Beauty and um, kind of give you guys my thoughts on it. Okay guys, so this is the Youthful Rejuvenating Cleanser. Um, it has several ingredients in it that uh, claim to enhance uh, hydration, to reduce puffiness, um, plump wrinkles, uh, so that you don't have that appearance of um, wrinkles or swelling and redness. So those main ingredients are pineapple stem extract, caffeine cosmospheres, hyaluronic acid, and Amazonian superfruit extract. The smell is amazing. It smells so good and it feels really nice on the skin. It has a very thick, rich consistency. And once you warm it up in your hands and apply it to the face, it is a wonderful wash. This one, I really enjoyed using. Okay guys, so next is the Ultra Firming Dry Oil. Now, the Ultra Firming Dry Oil uh, claims to reduce the appearance of wrinkled, crepey skin and helps to create a lifted look on the neck and decolletage. Um, it is also fast absorbing. Now with this particular product, I really like this one. It gave my skin the appearance of a very smooth, um, it gave it a smooth supple look. Um, so it, it didn't look like my neck didn't look dry or wrinkly it just looked really smooth now I do have an issue with that crepiness right under my chin area I haven't noticed any reduction in that but just the the smoothness of the skin and it just felt very moisturized so yeah this one I liked a lot Okay guys, so next I'm going to moisturize with the multi-action sculpting cream. Um, I massage that into my face. <laughs> yeah, it comes with this really cute little spatula. So I um, massage that into my face about a quarter size and give myself an amazing um, just massage of the face, making sure that everything when, am I, when I am moisturizing, that I am pressing the product into the skin and the motions are moving the skin upwards. Um, I already have some sagginess going on, so I don't want to do anything that would increase that sagginess.
Okay guys, so next we're going to do our eyes. I'm going to be using the Eye Revive Firming Serum and the Under Eye Recovery. So what I have right now is the Firming Serum and I'm going to take that all the way around underneath the eye and above on that little brow bone right above the eye um, and just massage it into the skin. Um, a couple of tips that you can do is you can actually chill this product and once you apply it to the eye area, it gives an extremely cooling effect. So that is a really nice, it feels really good, especially um, in the morning when you're waking up, it gives you almost like this really refreshed feeling around the eyes. Okay guys, I'm gonna take my ring fingers and I'm just gonna pat the product into the eyes very, very gently just to help penetrate um, the product into the skin. Next, I'm gonna use the under eye recovery and I'm just gonna use a very small amount and I'm just gonna apply that right underneath. Now, this is gonna help with um, that puffiness that we see in the mornings. Also, it's gonna help reduce dryness and that hollow out look that we can sometimes get, um, you know, just due to lack of moisture. You know, that eye area under there is very, very delicate and it's neglected and we need to pay more attention to it. Okay guys, so my final step is usually for me, one of the most important steps. Um, and that's gonna be the SPF. Now, um, I was really excited to try this particular product. So I'll just kind of do a little swatch for you so you guys can see. It is super, super creamy. But for some reason, when it goes onto my face, it makes it look really ashy. So, it just does not work with my skin tones. You can see here versus here. It just leaves kind of that white cast. So I kind of opted not to use this particular brand when um, putting on my sunscreen. And, um, you know, probably has a lot to do with the melanin in my skin but I do need that protection when I go out. So there is a sunscreen that I do use after this process. So once my skincare is done and everything is applied, I will go ahead and apply my sunscreen, which is super important. So now we're gonna go on to the lips. And this is something that I just kind of came across that I thought was really, really cool. I have this little scrub and it's an exfoliator and it's by e.l.f. Um, but it comes like in a little lipstick cube, tube. And this is like sugar and probably some other products, which I don't really know, but it is an exfoliator for the lips. So I use this along with the City Lips Plumping Gloss. And I have noticed a significant difference just in the appearance of my lips overall. Um, not as dry, um, just seem to have, um, you know, cause I do have some pigmentation on my lips. No, I'm not a smoker, I've never been a smoker, but I just have that pigment on my lips. And since I've been using these two combinations, I've noticed a significant difference in just the appearance of my lips. So let me show you what I do. So I take this little scrub and that top layer, I just kind of, you know, just take that off with a Q-tip. But then also what it does is it, you know, kind of um, loosens up the sugar in this or that scrub in the um in this exfoliator so i take a little bit of water just wet my lips a little bit 
and then I just go to town. <laughs> And I'll take probably for about a minute. And then I'm going to allow my lips to dry because you don't want to put the plumping gloss on when your lips are kind of like that moist, you know, has that moistness. You want to make sure that they're nice and dry. So I just kind of take my fan and kind of help it along a little bit. Okay, so now they are completely dry. So I'm going to take my plumping gloss and just apply it. And that's that. So that's that. Oh, and of course, my favorite thing to do is my Evian water and I just give myself a nice spray and I'm ready either to just chill for the rest of the day and do the stuff that I have to do around the house or either apply my makeup which today I'm going to be doing my makeup but not in this video. Okay, so overall, um, I liked the products. Um, I will kind of share with you guys a couple of the products that I really have been enjoying. Um, the Ultra Firming Dry Oil, which is for the decolletage area, the neck area. Um, that one to me is a really nice product. I can't say that there's been any firming or anything, but I do like the appearance that it gives this area after I apply it. Um, just a really nice, almost polished look, if that makes any sense. But this one, I really have been enjoying. I really liked this product a lot. And of course, I think of all the products, my favorite has to be the City Lips. It really does seem to soften and to restore my lips overnight so when i wake up in the morning my lips aren't like you know just dry and drawn up they have a little bit of moisture to them um, they feel soft and i really like that because i've always had issues with my lips so it's nice to have a product that I'm able to use and I like it. I, it's so multi-purpose and that's why I like it. I can use it as a treatment, but I can also use it um, as a gloss over, you know, my lipsticks or my liners or however I wanna use that. So to me, that was really, really um, cool. But yeah, that is gonna do it for this video. Just showing you guys um, my morning routine of how I get my, or how I go about doing my skincare routine. And that is gonna be it, but stay tuned guys for um, my next video and we will see you in the next one.